Today our kitten gets neutered. Yes, it's time. Spring is in the air and hormones are flowing with that little kitten. So today he gets neutered. Hi there, coho boy. You're gonna get fixed, aren't you? Good morning, coho. Guess what? Today's the day. Today's the day, buddy. You get to be fixed. Lucky guy, hasn't he, Sadie? Yeah. Who's a good puppy? I hate having you be put under on surgery. I hate that. It, it, it's, uh, I don't care what they say. I think it's tough on living beings, on humans and cats. So I hate that part, but we'll go get that done and get you home back here to the lake and let you just chill out with us. You haven't had anything to eat since last night, and so you'll be hungry. I'll feed you when you get home and feel better. All right. What are you doing in the kennel? You want to go home? <laughs> Mason, you don't need to go to the vet. <laughs> get out of there. We need the kennel. <laughs> Sadie. The cat's in the kennel. The wrong cat. What's he doing, Coho? You want to go in too? <laughs> Mason's like, take me home. No, Mason, the lake is more relaxing. Who's a hungry old puppy? Okay, Sadie. <laughs> You're in the way. Move back. Move on back. Oh, you got bad breath. Oh, yes, you do. You just yawned, didn't you? <laughs> okay, go. All right, Mason. Come on. Okay, go, cool, whole buddy. In you go. Time to go on a road trip. You will become neutered. <laughs> <laughs> Mason's like, hey, how come I can't go in there? Yeah, you don't want to go where we're going, Mason. Mason, you're already neutered. You don't need to go today. Oh, it's a beautiful day to have a good day. Okay, Coho, let's go get you fixed. Make sure I got the right cap here. Yep, you're Coho. <laughs> Go home. Let's go bye bye. Hey, he's like, wait a minute, where's my brother? He's not in here with me. Where are we going? What's going on? Coho, buddy. Where's your brother? Is that why you're protesting? He never meows in the kennel. Must be because Mason is not with him. Beautiful morning to travel through the woods. Here we go, Coho. It's time, buddy. You ready for this, Coho? And what, nine ounces, so that's what, 8.6. Eight, eight pounds, nine ounces? Mm -hmm. That's what my yep. daughter was when she was born. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's. Weighs the same. Eight pounds, huh? He, he looks so small. Same, huh? That's a pretty good weight. Yeah. He's solid muscle, though. He is, <laughs> can I tell he's. Very muscular dude, aren't you? <laughs> well, I left Coho behind. He's in there getting fixed this morning. Lucky little guy. I think that'll help with his behaviors. And uh, he's got great behavior. It's just that he's starting to pick on Mason or he's just, he's got, you can tell there's something in his mind and in his nature that he, well, he just wants to conquer like a male, fertile male cat would want to do. So anyway, there he is. That was kind of neat. The staff at the veterinarian's office saw the dodo story about Coho. So they, uh, when I walked in, they said, oh, here comes the viral kitty. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Are you looking for your brother? Where's Coho? While we wait for Coho's surgery, and then I go back and get him, 
I'm going to edit in a few clips for you to show you some of the behaviors that Coho has been demonstrating in the last few weeks. Um, first thing he's doing is I think he's starting to spray a little bit because he would turn around and then smell the area where he was just sitting and he would have his mouth open like cats do when they smell something foul. And then he would, he would follow Mason all over the house and just chatter at him. No, Coho can't meow. He doesn't meow. He never has meowed. But he chatters. He, he vocalizes toward Mason and stares Mason down. I don't know if it's a male dominance thing, a territory thing. I, you guys can tell me in the comments below what you think is going on. But poor Mason is being stalked all the time by this Coho cat that's full of... Uh, hormones and doesn't know what to do with his feelings and so uh, he, he especially last night he was following Mason everywhere and vocalizing at him and staring down at him and biting his neck and hanging on to uh, Mason. You guys can explain that I don't know I'm not a cat expert I've had a lot of cats but I've never well I've only had one cat that wasn't neutered yet uh, otherwise I've adopted rescue cats that were already neutered. So Mason was the other cat that I had uh, neutered and it was about the same age, but I didn't see that behavior in him. I'm seeing it in Coho for sure. I'll show you a few clips.
Mason's gonna be very happy with the results of coho being neutered. All right, it's time to drive up my snow-filled driveway and go out and get coho back from the vet. I look forward to getting him home, seeing how he's doing. They said he did really well. We have had endless challenges in getting this driveway cleared. I do not own a snowblower, even though I live in Minnesota. I found in the past snowblowers wreck my back because they're so heavy. And shoveling this much driveway, well, I guess that might be an option, but I have my other driveway to shovel. So we just drive up and down and uh, pack it down. I guess that's how they do it in Norway. If you live in Norway, let me know if people plow driveways or if they just drive to pack it down. Some coworkers told me that's what happens, is that they just pack it down. And that's what we're trying to do, but I got I got my truck stuck a couple of times trying this, as you can see. In fact, I'm gonna drive into the non-packed part and see how it goes. Oh yeah, it's getting deep. Getting deep. Uh-oh. So it's not easy driving back and forth in this deep snow. <laughs> but it's possible. Caitlin's car does a better job because it's lighter. It's amazing how much snow this truck can get through. I am amazed about that. But I got stuck pretty bad yesterday a couple of times and had to dig it out with a shovel. The other option is to have a plow service come by here and pay them to do it, but they won't respond to my phone calls. They must just be overloaded with their own jobs to do. So what we do is pull up, pack it down, then we back all the way up as far as we can. Whoa. <laughs> it's hard to keep it straight. That's falling into the, it's falling kind of downhill into the ditch. Oh, I'm stuck now. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a shovel, I think. There we go. Now I'm getting through it. Wish me luck. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> well, I'm heading back to the veterinarian's office to pick up Cole. His little surgery to get him neutered snipped, fixed, whatever you want to call it, is complete. And they said he did really well. Okay, there you are. You look like you're doing fine. Maybe not quite awake. I bet you have that dizzy, icky feeling, don't you? Poor boy. I'll take you home and give you some rest. He looks pretty alert, though. That's for sure. How you doing there, Coho buddy? You doing okay? How you doing there, Coho? You feeling better? Go home and sleep? Hmm? <laughs> Where's your Coho boy? Where's your brother? You spilled your food all over the place, and you're laying in it. <laughs> Are you a little distraught that your brother's locked up in the room? That's what the vet ordered. Well, I had to put Coho in the bathroom by himself with the door locked because the veterinarian staff told me that they, he has to be isolated from all the other animals for three days. So there's Mason. Mason's sitting outside the door, and I heard... I heard Mason chattering and meowing. Mason wants to see his brother. Where's your brother, boy? Do you miss your brother? <laughs> you can see his feet sticking out. <laughs> What's going on there, Mason? Where's your brother? <laughs> They're communicating anyway. Isn't that cute? You boys miss each other? You can see Coho looking under the door. Oop.